Driving through Tel Aviv, the election campaign is in full swing for the third time within a year. In the two previous general elections, in April and September, no party was able to form a government. Israelis are hoping that will change at this time. It's important. I have a young son and I want him to know that um, we're still fighting for the future of this country and everybody should uh, vote. It is quite frustrating to have a third election in the same year and we don't really see any result coming. It looks like the result is going to be the same. Because it's our duty as a citizen and I hope now it will be different. These two political leaders are again center stage. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of the Likud party and his biggest rival, Benny Gantz, leader of the Blue and White party. Neither managed a majority in last year's elections. So making deals with smaller parties is essential to forming a government. Netanyahu has other problems, indicted in three separate corruption cases. Court cases, his rivals say, make him unfit to be prime minister. Here in West Jerusalem and across Israel, there is a fear that this election will be inconclusive and Israel will head to the polls for a fourth time. And many are now asking the question whether there needs to be political electoral reform. There's no doubt that we're in a political crisis, a political deadlock, something that is unprecedented and that our electoral system uh, needs a, a significant uh, reform in order to ensure that our election system, uh, campaigns have a decisive outcome. The Israelis have had a caretaker government since April and voters hope that this election proves to be decisive. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.